Wish I had a GoPro so I could just sort of strap this to my face and go. Hello, I'm Literal Lion, and welcome to part two of my Kigo Making Extravaganza. In this part, I'm going to be working on sewing all the pieces that I cut out in the last part. I apologize deeply for the visceral sounds of my dog chewing her food. I also still don't have a table, so this is my rig. Here's my supplies. I'm going to be working on the body, main body piece first. Uh, I need to sew on all the blue parts that belong on the body piece, which is this piece. Uh, surprise, surprise, I'm using pins in this episode. First, I'm going to be taking the piece. This is the back piece. And I'm going to be... No. No, this is the front piece. I'm going to be pinning this piece into the part that I cut out in the last video uh, to the front piece. You know, you're supposed to keep your right sides together. But honestly, this fleece didn't come normal, so I'm not really sure which side is right side and which side is wrong side. So, we'll figure it out. It's kind of hard to tell with just the naked eye. Also, can't promise that I'm gonna be staying in frame for all of this. So the method of pinning and sewing that I've decided to use is a little unorthodox for me, but I'm going to be using a very, very small zigzag stitch and just stitch this directly onto this instead of uh, putting right sides together because um, I was not convinced that these points were going to come out very sharp, not like this if I did it that way. Also, it was going to be quite a lot of finagling, probably a lot of sewing the little mistakes into it. Uh, so I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see what happens. If it doesn't work out, then I can always change my mind. So not a fan of what I was trying to do. Did not like what was happening. Uh, so I'm going to just be pinning it right sides together like I had originally planned. You know, so it comes out looking like this, but I'm gonna do it in small increments so that, you know, this, see how this, you know, you can, you can see how this would be a problem if I were pinning it all at once. So that looks a lot better. A lot better than what was going on. I was, uh, I, the, the other way was just a little bit too far beyond my skill level. But, uh, the worst part about sewing on the ground is that it's really difficult to see what you're doing. So I might find a way to adjust my, my setup here. Uh, for right now though, I'm going to finish pinning and sewing all the way around. And, uh, you'll see, you'll see the final product in just... A second. So here's the front piece all sewn together. It actually came out a lot better than I thought it would. The, there's not too many wrinkles. Like this is what I was afraid of, but honestly that's much less prominent than I thought it was going to be. This turned out pretty good. It's time to do the back, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I ran out of thread in my bobbin. So this is the back all sewn together. Uh, I don't think it came out quite as well as the front piece uh, because of stuff like that. And I had to hand sew a lot of it because I, the sewing machine wasn't cooperating with me. You know, this, it looks okay. Uh, I'm going, now I'm going to do the bottoms of the legs on, on both sides. Uh, of the of the kigu and then I will be sewing the whole kigu together This is what I have. Those are the bottom of the legs. I sewed them all four of them on to both parts of the kigu It was very simple. I just straight stitched them all the way across and didn't it wasn't anything spectacular Before we sew the two body pieces together. I need to make the elastic 
uh, the part that holds the elastic in the foot area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this up about an inch and then I'm gonna sew along here on the, fold it onto the inside, this is the outside, this is the inside, so I'm gonna fold it up in and then sew along, I'll show you. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can, yeah. This, what is this? Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what caused this problem. <laughs> uh, my, this sewing machine is kind of strange. It doesn't have, I mean, I don't, this, this is the only wheel it has. My other one had a bunch of wheels and this is not even labeled. I don't, I don't know. This is not my sewing machine. So it's kind of strange. So we're gonna try again. We have to do uh, the bottom of the leg like this for all four of the pants before we can sew the two body pieces together. It's a lot better, but it's still a little bit looser than I'd like it to be, but I think that's because the thread in my bobbin was spun a little bit loose for some reason. Uh, I, I can't, I don't really feel like fixing that now, so uh, hopefully it won't be that much of a problem. So here's my body piece, uh, the front part. Before I put them both together, one more thing that we need to do. We need to put, cut down the middle where the buttons are gonna go and put in this strip where the buttonholes will go so that it looks like this. It needs to be placed exactly in the middle and then you will cut along the line. So the line will be, that you that is cut down will be a little bit off center. Now obviously this part needs to be blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut along here where the blue stops and then I'm going to add a, a blue part that it looks exactly like this. I'm gonna sew these two parts together, be right back. So this is what I've got. I've, I've sewed the blue on so it's very seamless. I put it down the middle and I'm going to cut right there and then I'm going to turn it that way and sew it. And I'm also gonna cut right here and sew it in right there. I'll show you. Now I'm going to sew right along there where I pinned. Here's what it looks like all sewed on. I'm going to keep it pinned together for the rest of the of the build so that you know the two the two parts aren't flapping around. In order to sew both sides together, I'm going to put the right sides facing each other. So this is back, this is the front. The right sides together all the way down. I'm going to pin here. And I'm going to pin from here down to the leg hole. I'm not going to sew up the leg hole. Pin, go sew up the middle. Skip that leg hole. Sew all the way up this side. Skip the arm hole. And then sew the shoulders together. And then you'll have the head hole. So the openings in the kigu will be the both arm holes, the head hole, and the two leg holes. I'm in the middle of sewing the body piece together, here's the big lumpy mass, and I am doing everything in my power to try and stop, stop this from happening. It's not happening very frequently, but it's still happening, and it's making the, the, the fabric loose in the, in the seam, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really, an, okay. it's really annoying and I've done everything I can try to do, and I'm losing my mind about it. I've, I've messed with this, which I think is the thread tension. I'm, it's not, I'm not sure. I've, I've messed with all these things. I've, the bobbin is wound right, it's threaded right. I just, I'm good. I, I'm gonna take this apart, clean it out, make sure there's nothing inside here. There was a little bit of lint, but I mean a little bit. I, I really, oh, there's some lint in there. There's no threads or anything that could be causing this. Uh, I guess I'll just change my needle and see what happens. Well, uh, taking the taking the bobbin area apart and putting it back together, uh, whether or not cleaning out did anything, uh, whatever it was I did did the trick because these these are smooth again. When you get to the bottom 
of the of the pant of the legs uh, there's there's this there's this edge here where this doesn't come all the way make sure you do not sew this part together on either side so make sure you only sew the edges here together like like this you know where you can still get inside here on either side that is the same for every every area on the legs where it's like this all right I know it's nearly impossible to tell on camera but somehow I I honestly could not tell you what has gone wrong here but the thread from up here and the thread from down there has not not here but like where it's supposed to come out has tied around the hammer or whatever this is it's tied around it what how did that happen I miss my old sewing machine so much. This never would have happened with my old sewing machine. It's time to perform some surgery. <sighs> now back to the regularly scheduled program. Oh god, these are looking so much better. These look so good now. Gosh, I'm so good at this. Here it is, all sewn together. Now let's turn it inside out. Here's our fleece bag, it's all right side out. Unlike most people who have ever sewn anything in their entire lives, I like to use an accent thread. Uh, even though this was white, I used a blue thread, but, you know, I don't think it came out the way I wanted it to, which is unfortunate, because I like myself an accent thread. Especially down here, this is a hot mess. I'm gonna have to redo this whole part. Ugh, this is just, this is a hot mess. Anyway, it's all downhill from here until we get to the face. All I have to do next is the arms and the hood and the tail and put the elastic in and the buttons and you know there's there's still a lot of work to do but we're 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 like halfway through now we get to do the arms which are a very fun part let me just tell you about the process first i'm gonna add this blue part to the wrist that's the part similar to this part where the elastic is gonna loop through um usually i include it but i wanted to make it a different color because the paws are blue on this character and then once we do that, we're just going to fold it together, sew up the side, and then attach it to the body piece. And boom, that's what it looks like. That's gorgeous, honestly, if I do say so myself. Now it's time to fold it, right sides together, all the way down. And sew along along this line once again careful do not sew this closed we need to put the elastic in first but it's not at an angle like the, the leg parts were so i'm just going to leave this part off and then hand sew it together here's what it looks like all sewn together that's a pretty solid arm nice and long a little narrow if you have wide arms i'm sorry i'll i'll, I'll try to do better next time okay i'm gonna make an attempt to show how I put the sleeve onto the body piece. Just bear with me here. First, I'm gonna take, this is the sleeve, and this is the seam, and it's gonna go on the bottom. So this is where the armpit is. We're gonna take this seam and this seam and put it together like that, and then pin it. So once you've pinned it, we're gonna kinda take this and put it in this like that. And then we're gonna take this and turn it inside out. Oh, first I'm gonna unpin this. Oh, just throw them on the floor. Okay, so now this opens up. Turn this inside out into like that. 
So now you've got this sort of business going on. See, this is the part that was pinned. And then you just sort of line the sleeve up. Hopefully it's the same size. If you measured right, it should be the same size. Uh, line it up around the edge, pin it all the way around. Here's what it should look like once it's all pinned together. Uh, mine ended up being the same size because I'm a professional. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and lay it down on the sewing machine like that and sew around this edge. It shouldn't, it, it, it should be fine. If you're wondering why I'm not showing a whole lot of sewing footage, it's because I don't actually own a tripod. Maybe one day, if I decide that I like making these videos, I'll get a tripod. I know they're only like a couple dollars on Amazon, but for now I'm just, you know, in, like setting it up somewhat embarrassingly. For now there's no, there's not a whole lot of footage of me sewing, but maybe someday. Here's the sleeve sewn on. It looks good, I think. I mean, it's hard to tell that it looks good in this in this video but it looks good now that both the sleeves have been successfully transplanted it's time to move on to the tail I'm gonna just sew around the edge stuff it with polyfill and then hand sew it well we'll see what happens when I get here because this is a really fat tail fatter than I normally do so I might not hand sew it I might try to machine sew it so with what it looks like all sewn together and turned inside out I used the end of my scissors to poke the points out into a nice sharp point. Now I'm going to stuff it with polyfill. I'm so sorry that I've got to cut this video short again, but it's getting absurdly long. I didn't really expect to have to cut this video into three parts. I thought two parts would be enough, but I guess I just didn't realize how much time actually I put into making these kigurumis. Thank you much for getting this far and watching my video. It means so much to me that you guys are viewing my content. I know I'm a tiny channel right now, but I really enjoy doing this and I want to grow. And watching every single view that I get, even if it's only 50 or 60, really just means a lot to me. As per last time, my information is going to be in the description if you want to follow me on anything else or commission me. I can't see why you would want to after seeing most of this process. The final product doesn't actually come complimentary with any dog hair. Though if it did, you should feel blessed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Ella thanks you for watching and I'll see you again in part 3. Bye!